Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Sector, where we are continuing right where we left off. We played with the gate, we scanned the gate of Thule. It says we've scanned it, so clearly we've scanned it. And we do have some other things that are going on. First off, we have a double bounty that is going to be, well, I assume it's a double bounty. It's at a dwarf primary star in this nebula, so I guess technically there are two options. So we're going to hope that it's a double here. So we'll, we'll fly out here and uh, see kind of how it goes. We actually have one of these that we completely did not explore, so maybe it is this one. Anyway, we uh, also have another mission that we've accepted, which is that we need to scan more gates. So we're just pretty much going to play a game of flying and scanning. We're continuing to fly with this fleet. I do have a bunch of troops and not a lot going with them here. We do have an Apogee that we're kind of just sitting on because we recovered it. Um, I'll let it repair for the time being. Um, we're not going to be bringing it into any fights though because i don't expect us to get that desperate so i hope you all are doing well i know last episode was a lot more just kind of um talking are you okay i was about to say if you're guarding the jump point you're just going to let me out right and oh we have a patrol i think we're about to get in a fight well let's see hey y'all you coming to get me okay Look at that, they're, they are trying, they are trying their very best. Um, we're not even going to go into Westernies. I don't, you know what, I don't really feel like dealing with them. I know there's technically story things going on where they'll be like, oh, you're not supposed to be going around and like blackmailing our officers and stuff and stealing credentials. Ooh. Returning to Voltum, eh? Are you... They're pursuing my fleet. A wise choice. I, I was actually thinking of pursuing you as well. Hello! Let's engage, shall we? Alright. We love piracy out in space. So let's, um... Let's get our little buddies over here. Let's, let's put both of these in this. I guess technically... We can wait to deploy these, but we'll get it. We'll get a few more markers and bring our uh, conquest out. So once again, our lumens are just gonna kind of be doing their thing, and then we're gonna move. See now, now I've been playing too much of other games, and my brain gets a little bit confused about how how we do this. Um, I don't really know. It's kind of funny. I was so on board with the buddy system earlier. And now I'm just kind of like, eh. I'll just fly up here. It's pirates. My goal is not to blow up my ship today. Like, we got all kinds of things flying everywhere. We're going to be bringing in two more um, big ships just for fun. This is a very well-built pirate fleet, though. I was a little surprised by that. But I definitely don't mind taking the fight. So let's see if we can get just a little bit more deployment points. We should be getting one more set here. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, guess the conquest is on the bench for now. Okay. That's, that is, we say, that is cool. We certainly have a, uh, a lot going on here, and we're going to be able to be aggressive very shortly. So everybody's going up to our deployment point. That Shrike probably is was not bargaining for having such a such a party. Just everybody's pursuing it. It's like, hey, I know there's pirate ships coming, but let's go up here. Now, one of the fun things is that I could definitely be making this guy faster. I I do I am thinking about putting the thrusters mod on it just to try and help. Oh, there's a. There's a thing. We still only have 27 deployment points. Okay. That is fine. So, strike down. Red alert. Um, I don't think we need that point anymore. So, command points. Let's send you all over here to the Dominator. Let's send you all over here to this one. You can go over here. You can send your buddies... Uh, we'll let these guys try to flank us. It's fine. 
What could possibly go wrong here? I think this thing's just gonna die before I even get there. Because we have a really good build on that ship that I kind of stumbled into, so... Let's do our thing. Make the whale space whale noises. We obviously have big onslaught guns going. Oh, this is where I wish I had the mod to uh, fly a little faster, but we're going to get behind these directional shields. And we're going to uh, lay, lay it out. Now, this is once again something where I do need to improve my build just a little bit. And as we do know, some of these tiny ships do like to fire Reaper torpedoes right at our butt and blow us up here. So we'll need to um, see that here. For some reason, we did nothing but flux ourselves. That's exciting. There we go. That time we didn't take damage, and you tried to fire a missile right into our backside. Okay. So send you back over here, and we're just going to need to vent and repeat and not get too close. So good stuff, hopefully, maybe. Not when there's uh, garbage waiting there, but there we go. Okay, we'll send you guys over here once again. Try not to totally flux ourselves out, but we got a few shots. There we go. Come on, just a few more cryoblaster shots. Any day now. There we go. And vent. Um, I think we can go into full assault mode. Like, this this fleet is not threatening at all. And I don't know what they're thinking. They should have run from us. But isn't that the way with pirates? It's like, yeah, we, we probably should fight you. Um, it's just one of those things where if I had a better build on my ziggurat, I'd be doing even better things. But for now, we're doing the good enough ziggurat build where I still flux myself and uh, can't really... Hap can do burst engagements, but not um, sustained engagements. I do like the cryo blasters though. Maybe the rift lances on there as well is too much. I could change those out. It's funny, not a lot of people like them. I just wanted to try them because I haven't had much use for them yet. But yeah, this is a. Uh... I, I love that you're going full ramming speed here. That's a lot of missile damage. There we go. And uh, you guys are not long for this world, so. I feel like a good supervisor at this point. Just like, yeah, we haven't won yet. Now we have. All right. Anybody else that needs to explode? Maybe the Falcon here, but it's fine. I'd rather not blow up my ship. All right, cool. Look at all these supplies you have. We will pursue them with our second in command. And look at our pursuit fleet doing pursuey things on the way to pursuiting. Boop. The only thing that's left is a fuel tanker. We are not recovering any of these ships, so have fun, hyperspace. We got supplies, fuel, lots of weapons. Nothing too exciting, but we need to kill some more pirates, which is what we're all about. All right, so lots of repairs. We got some more experience, which is good. Okay, so we're going past one potential place for the um, bounties here, which means I really need to check and make sure we're okay on time here, so... Dwarf Primary Star in an Arid World. I think this is where I got the clue of near Metallic World in a Dwarf Primary Star system. So we've looked here. There's an Arid World here. Oh, so it's not. It's not double. Is that a mining station that we just left because we couldn't get the stuff? We're going to do this now. Okay. Well, we got not, not double bounties simultaneous, but... Double bounty nonetheless. And it's a low, low threat system. And there's a distress beacon here. Wonder who's under distress. It's not us. Okay, we're uh, mostly done with repairs. Okay. Hi, guys. That's a, that's a pretty nice fleet you have there. Let's kill it. Titan's fleet. Sup, Titan? Zun Titan, how you doing? When you get to the next life, tell them it was Zun Titan that sent you. Will do. We are not transferring command. We are just going to fly, fly, fly. And uh, it's the combat readiness for, weirdly, my ship that is not up to snuff. Oh, well. Um, 
We'll make it work. We are going to not deploy these just yet. We'll deploy all these. And um, we'll bring you out of the woodwork. Then hopefully we can get both, both of you out. That'd be good. All right. So... Lumen, Lumen, Glimmer over here, we'll buddy up with you, we'll kind of keep you together, you're going to buddy up with me, and then let's just pick a point to defend right here, that seems like a solid strategy for everyone else that isn't doing the thing right now, seems fine. So I guess before we do our next bounty, we're going to need to make sure we get some repairs in. But there's a nice, happy arid world that I did not colonize. This was part of the early portion of the game where I was desperately searching for planets. And um, it took me a really long time to find a system that I could just check all the boxes on. And and this update is very different than the last update, where the last update is like, find a system with two habitable worlds, you're fine. Now it's like, one habitable world... One no atmosphere world, preferably barren, one with a hot planet, and um, go from there. So we got 77, so not quite not quite what we were hoping for, but get one of you out. Let's drop the Falcon out too. Alright, and we're just gonna um We're just gonna wait here. Even Space Raptor's gonna wait. All right. So here comes here comes our buddies. The nice thing about making them come to us is that we will, um, as we've already down to minus ten deployment. So if we lose something in this engagement, and we might, we can at least go back and say, you know what we. It was all about the friends we made along the way. Also, we have reinforcements that we can deploy, including an Apogee that I never actually equipped with anything. So, now that we're here, who wants to get harassed? Probably you. Alright. Now, we gotta watch our backside, because we do have some very large ships that I'd love to save the engagement for. And right now, there's only so much that we can do, because they are firing a shit ton of missiles everywhere. So that's a dead hammerhead. It's honestly pretty risky for me to go all the way around here. I think I'm just going to do harassment things. Okay, so we're frozen. We did get a little bit of a hit in. That's good. And uh, we can try to do some point defense things down here. So one of the things i got to pay attention to is that my cryo blasters don't quite have the turn range that I was hoping for here. So let's back it up again. They're going to keep shooting at us, but we got our big line right here. They got our big line right here. And um, I don't know why you're trying to defend this, but that's okay. How do we, how do we want to do this? We let them get just a touch closer. We have 17 points again. For some reason, the Lumen also wants to go. It switched out when I automated this. I guess that's okay. So. I think we go for some of the little guys first. Try to cut a line into the bigger ones. We'll send a bigger harassment over here. Space Raptor also go after this. There we go. Yeah, you don't want to send you don't want to send um, the remnant ship over to just defend something lame like the uh, little belts here. So there's our flashy things, and those do actually kill the ships. So that's really useful. Here comes all of our carrier ships. Okay, so now we have onslaughts popping in. We do like to eat onslaughts for lunch. We are attack lancing like a boss right now. Would we like to change our mind about who we are attacking? I think the Legion could be a good target. I think we want to set you to eliminate and we'll start there. See if we can focus fire on this. Killed itself. 
to be, um, well, out there. Where am I? Here I am. So one question I have is, can I sneak some shots in? I am going to be playing a little risky here. But it's okay. Like, the, these pirates are just, or this, this fleet is just literally sending everything it has into my back here. Like, I think that Legion's not going to be doing so well in the near future here. Alright, and swoop. Alright. So we're just going to fly back down here do it again. Look at this. We're doing some pretty solid, like, damage here for everybody. We got, we got two legions. Neither of them are really happy with themselves right now. I know I don't always want to be shooting front side here, but we're already doing a lot of damage, so... Might as well make that damage count. We're not getting hit too hard from behind either. So I am just going to go... This is this guy's just about dead. Like, any moment now. We actually ran out of flux, so... I'm going to take this moment just to bump into my other ship, and we're going to... We're going to hide, hopefully behind you. Although you're about to flex out too, so that's, that's a problem. You guys aren't supposed to necessarily be my frontliners. But we did we did draw first blood. Alright. Who's another good target? If we look right here, we just need one of them to kind of present themselves to us. At this point, and I think it's you. Alright, so... Using the options that are available to us, why, why are you going back here? This this should not be a point. We're not defending this point anymore. We're gonna send we're gonna send you on the attack. We're gonna send you on the attack, and we're just gonna keep focus firing. Where's Space Raptor? Oh my God, Space Raptor. Uh. Uh. What? <laughs> okay. You you're a little aggressive. That's true. Um, that's why we, that's why we love you, I think. Okay, so, let's send our, uh, space whale noises over to this onslaught. And I don't know if I can really work behind it very well. We're gonna give it a shot. Thing is, is I just don't want to be caught out of position too badly. Because right now we're, we're doing a lot of little lightning bolt crap to it, which is nice. And I don't know if pooping out these little orbs is costing me flux. I should probably look into that. But right now, got a pretty solid shot here. Okay, let's not get too cocky. We're going to have to back it up real quick. So we got some shots. We did some damage. Not quite as good as the Doom yet, but we're... Like, I miss having my mines a little bit. But it's a, it's a different ship, different loadout. Definitely something that I can do better with here. So let's see, if we got you almost fluxed out... This is, this is the most dangerous venting I could possibly do. Oh, we actually got him, like, in trouble here. Okay, that's good. Alright, we may be able to get a front side shot off here. It's dangerous as hell, but that's why we're a phase ship, so we can do the stupid crap like this. Burn it! There we go. So, to going toe-to-toe -to -toe with things I have no business going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Now, granted, this ship has, like, a much higher deployment point cost, so maybe it's not that crazy. Um, let's see. Who has who has put themselves in position next? I think it's you. I think we're going to put you guys up here. And the poor Conquest is uh, trying to do Conquest things. It's not doing a great job, but it's trying. All right. So let's do this part three. 
So right now we have a Paragon that's getting slammed. And that doesn't seem correct. So let's uh, do the lightning thing. Got another hammerhead blowing up here, so. Maybe this Legion's a little more vulnerable here. All right. Let's see what we got. Might be able to get a shot or two on it. Don't need to be buzzing the Legion that's already dead. Oh boy, are you firing on me right now? You are. Okay, that's a Reaper Torpedo. So we'll just get out of dodge there. Okay, so right now we're, we're doing a pretty solid job disabling this ship. And uh, hopefully with the rest of our crew we're able to harass us pretty well enough. That's a lot of damage we'll be able to get in. Obviously I don't want to get hit too hard myself. There we go. So we'll wait for you to try and step to me, and you're going to fail at that. All right, maybe, maybe we don't have you do that. Direct retreat, please. Um, so we've lost a lot of beacons here, but you know, maybe instead of a direct retreat, we just send you down here. Like I said I don't want you to be the frontliner, especially. Especially when there's two friggin' onslaughts. Alright, we gotta do... We gotta, um... We're out of command points. Awkward! Okay. Still, though, I'd rather not lose a ship. I think we're going to, though. Without, like, some very sudden intervention here. Alright, so I think you might be our better target. Congratulations! Just need that onslaught to get out of here. Alright, so we got two more. Not onslaught. We need that Odyssey to get out of here. Oh, what are the words that are coming out of my mouth today? Alright, let's get you in position. I should be holding shift to do this. And uh, just fire the things. Okay, so we lost a glimmer. Um, took out, took you out. So that's solid. I could have done better there, but I didn't take uh, explosion damage. Glimmer's about the least of my concerns. Could get rid of the brilliant. Um, you're not really like hurting though, are you? So that's probably okay. Did we lose our Odyssey yet? Hard to say. Looks like we haven't though. All right. So let's see if we can sink one more battleship. Probably not like that, though. Oh, damn. All right. So we're going to get pop back out here in just a second. I need to turn off the auto fire here. But we're going to keep auto firing like a moron. Please stop punching me. Please stop punching me. All right. Venting for fun. Who knew a hammerhead would be doing more damage than anybody else to me? I guess it makes sense. That's why they're solid support ships. All right. We have one command point right now. We have a bunch of people going after this beacon. That is, like, actually the wrong thing to do. We need to regroup, eliminate this dude. Um, you still need to retreat. Um, let's just get everybody gathered up here. Because then we can kind of work our way back down with the smaller ships. Hopefully you have enough shields that you can make it out okay. Um, we can possibly reinforce here in just a minute. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, so this is the story 
of me doing something really stupid, taking on four ships at the same time. Outrunning my support in a phase ship. This is Captain Asher Wells, who chose a good looking portrait. Alright, we're just gonna fly through you, because that's that's what we do in phase ships. That's what I should be doing this whole time in a phase ship. Alright, so we got all this crap coming. And fire all the things. And you're dead. Alright, cool. So that's a lot of damage, and because our hard flux isn't all the way up, we should be we should be okay. So we'll let these guys do their thing. And um you need to retreat, but I think we're on pretty much mop-up duty from here. So let's uh, let's get back with the group. And hopefully we don't need to pause too much more. So phase ship is fun. Demental. Okay. Look at us not phasing our phase ship. Like, isn't that supposed to be scary as hell? All right, let's get some sweet revenge on you. Just hopefully we can fly right through you. You should have a mostly, but not entirely, extended shield range. And then don't want to get too close. And we fire all the things. And you got deleted. Congratulations. You've been reduced to a key on the keyboard. Are you... Okay, you're about to make it out, so... Good. And you're getting harassed like hell. Like, you're you're actually retreating. Let's see if we can uh, fix that. Oh, you decided not to retreat. Alright, let's... Uh, we barely can't reinforce. So the enemy fleet's defeated, but obviously we don't want to get in a situation where they decide, hey guys, let's regroup. So I'm going to do this real fast. We lost a second lumen. We'll recover it here in just a minute. Pew pew. Pew pew, please. Such good weapons here. All right. I think that's pretty much everybody. All right. So we actually held some stuff in reserve. We actually had one strategic retreat. Um, they had a few retreat, and they don't have too many left, so we're going to pursue them. And our second in command is going to handle it along with the 10,000 years. We'll send this ship too, why not? Alright, and we, we killed everybody except for an eagle that almost died. Ship recovery, obviously we need to get our uh, these things back. Difficult recovery, wow. Um, I like that it says Onslaught Outdated Battleship. I'm curious if that's because of the fleet that we had to fight to get it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick that up. All right, so good good showing. Pick through the wreckage. Uh, more supplies. That's fine. We're actually uh, full on supplies, but that'll change in just a moment. Let's get rid of some of these metals, and we're good. All right. So that was one fleet. I want to check this mining station one more time. There's probably a reason I didn't finish checking this out. Okay, nothing too exciting here. Sometimes, sometimes these have other stuff. Not today though, okay. All right, so we gotta let these repairs go just a little bit. We have another sensor ping over here. Okay, there's a derelict ship somewhere and I can't see it. Is it because I'm on top of it? Uh, someone's gonna be like, it's right there. How can you not see it? It's a Buffalo freighter. We don't really care, but we got 10 crew out of it. They had not been turned to mush. So that's a positive. All right, how many more days until the other bounty's done? All right, I think this is a good point to go ahead and say bounty number two. 
going to be at a metallic world and a dwarf primary star. So we're just going to um, mosey on down. So these are all hegemony things. Technically, we do need to improve our relationships with them. But we also need to like let combat readiness build up, and uh, that's going to take a little while. We don't need like full combat readiness. We just need better combat readiness. So we're going to go to a system that I have not... Oh, wait. Did I totally ignore scanning a gate in that system? Doesn't look like it. I got to be on the lookout for gates, unless the gates are only in the core worlds. Um, maybe. Maybe not. I thought there were like other systems that I've seen that have gates. I guess we'll just make sure to make a point to look for it every time. Alright, so we're still repairing. This is taking a while. So there's a gas giant there. Here, and then we're going to go in the fringe jump point. Maybe. Alright. And it looks like there's something here, so... We have a sensor contact, we have a metallic world and a stable location so pretty much at this point it's just uh, the flagship's combat readiness that is going to take some dear sweet time to recover and part of that is because of delicate machinery um, and uh, well that's just how it's going to be I guess all right Let's see what's over here, because we got some time for the bounty. This is a supply cache. That is a hostile patrolling remnant fragment. Okay, we have officially been supplied. Okay, well, since we got how long? 25 days. Yeah, we can do some regular old-fashioned exploration. I mean, we're probably just going to run into a bunch of... Uh, stuff that we can't use a kite and then a weapons cache that could be good it uh, well i mean we have almost everything we can have but there's another thunder blueprint actually paid for that we are <gasps> they're coming and they're flying through a star yes please get over here just just sit in that star system that's great all right Come, come to Papa. All right, look at you guys. How are we doing? We're at 56 combat readiness. Yeah. Wish I could have had them throw their face against that star a little bit longer. But yeah, we'll um, we'll say hello to you. Comlink says, surrender, surrender yourself and your goods, or you'll be taking a very long walk out to the airlocks once I've commanded your ship. Don't know why Aurora Strum sounds like that. Must have some cotton in her mouth. Um, we're taking this fight. All right, what do we send today? We send myself, use guys. This is a good combo. That's a good combo. I like both onslaughts. Um, and then we can reinforce with some uh, other stuff. I mean, this ship's good too. Don't get me wrong, but we're we're kind of running into the situation just a touch of um. Kind of the same strategy as before. And then we're going to defend a point right around here. And I think that's good. Everybody's a big ship and we can all kind of defend ourselves. So ECM rating 1 versus 5. That's a that's an interesting breakdown. And we're flying into a lot of space garbage because this is apparently that kind of place. Our little glowy things don't really seem to care very much, but it is a little annoying. Okay, so we got 42 points. That's probably all we're getting. So let's go ahead and reinforce with you. Like I said I could have done this with a faster moving ship like the Odyssey, but... We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna. I know. Uh, I've seen some comments to the effect of the AI loves to hold instead of use the deployment points, but we're we're humans. We're gonna use them. Did you just fire a Reaper torpedo at an asteroid? 
game, please. Come on. All right, so we're going to let all of our slow pokes get up here because all their slow pokes are doing the same thing. Okay, Space Raptor already laying down the law. Um, my Falcon over here not doing a great job. Who do we have that seems like a good target? I don't know if we have anybody just yet, but we're going to... There we go. They're just all coming in a line right now. So let's uh, let's stay back just a little bit. We do have so much stuff set to auto fire right now, but Space Raptor, whoa, dude, that needs a lot of point defense. Oh boy, that was that was like all the legions just firing a volley all at once. That's hilarious. Okay, um, please get back. Thank you. So the legions are really doing like the British, like line command, old world style. And space raptors like, hey guys, who's ready for a fight? And I'll be like, I'm not. So let's mark you for death first. I don't really like sending everybody all like across the front of this, but we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. Because right now, that's the easiest one to get kind of across here, so. See if we can make you disabled. Like I said, they got a bunch of little ships behind here, and Space Raptor has uh, successfully decided to be the main tank for our fleet. We have a bunch of support ships in the back. We actually have a phase ship in the back. That's something I'm going to have to watch out for. But for now, we're just going to try to fire, open fire over here. It's a good start. And we just duck out. So we got some damage on it. And our little moats are going to be messing it up pretty hard. I think we do another frontal shot here. Yeah. Okay, gotta get out of the Reaper. Oh, shit! Okay. Okay! Oh, that was horrible. Okay. Um, I mean, front, front shots are fun. Until somebody loses an eye. Please let me just get through. Thank you. I'm gonna vent here. Okay, now we just need to harass kind of on the other side here. So let's do that. All right. Well, I did say I didn't want to take on the big bounties and I didn't want the big space battles. And apparently this uh, level seven pilot for the Odyssey thinks that um, he's going to be able to do big things in life. And instead, you're just going to be retreating again because that is a terrible, terrible Griffin that's firing some terrible, terrible missiles. Yeah, you're dead. Like, you're super dead. Like, I can't save you from that. We're just gonna have to call that an operational loss and, uh, give him, like, a demerit or something. Now, I gotta watch out, because this ship is turning for me. Obviously, we gotta reinforce right now with maybe a better pilot. But yeah, right now, this is gonna come down to how much can I harass here. And right now, I'm doing a pretty terrible job controlling my ship. Can we fire something, please? Thank you. Get the hell out of here today. Those are some sabos. Okay, well, the good news is that we're on the back line. Bad news is that we have got to pop out of phase for just a second. So this is this is dangerous. But if this is sufficiently distracting, I can accept that. All right. Should probably be turning off my auto fire on all this garbage, but let's see. Okay, 
Okay, so you guys are like literally turning around now. So that's the one I hit pretty hard before. Alright, let's try not to get like taken out. There we go. One Legion down. So fair trade, as it were. We got another one that's disabled over here. So our ship's stronger than their ships right now. We'll see how this goes. I can take some shots. I just don't want to be taking too many shots. Alright, let's back it up. Once again, I think back to one of the videos that I had earlier on where someone's like, Oh my god, all you do is um, fire at things and not kill them. Leave them almost dead and not kill them. Fine, you know what? Look, it's dead. Alright. And I'm, out, and I'm out of flux. All right, yeah, I will I will never not get over that comment, apparently. And it was from like a month ago now. Okay, well, we have uh, successfully harassed. I think maybe one of the most important things that I did in that engagement is that flying behind their backside made the AI freak out and all kind of turn after me. We are not defending this point anymore. You guys need to go after um, here, here, here. Um... You're going after this one. You're going after this one. You're going after this one, and we're gonna, we're gonna have a great time. Did you seriously just shoot something at my backside? I'm a little offended by that. All right, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna see if I can take out another big ship. So I'm definitely a big fan of the Ziggurat, even if my um, build is not like ideal perfect it's definitely putting in some good work and these moats are like just the ability to disable a ship with these little things constantly hitting it there's another dead legion go fleet we're gonna take a little bit of a risk flying into some dominators oh, that's fine all right Say hello. Alright, can we get it down? Got a lot of missiles incoming. So we gotta kinda dodge that. There we go. You're dead. Okay, I need to actually do it like this. You're dead. Time after time. Okay. You're next. And just all these, like, they had such a really good line until they didn't. Obviously, somebody's cheating in this game. Like, it's just not fair. Just the AI. Just never has a chance here. Although they did draw first blood. And there's a, a griffin that uh, is doing griffin things. So let's uh, put a stop to that. Please. There we go. Well done. The third moon of Mars. Uh, that's a creative name. All right. Here we go. Claim victory. Are they going to try to re-engage us? No, they're not. We did lose three ships. Which is acceptable when our AI officer goes a little too crazy. Um, obviously, we got enough stuff to do this, so we almost got all of them. We didn't quite get all of them, but ship recovery. Fortunately, nobody was that injured. We are low on crew again, though, so we're going to have to mothball this again. Awkward. Legion strike carrier, Legion assault battle carrier. We don't We don't need those. Unfortunately, the none of the 14th. Uh, ships were available for recovery, so let's just recover these. <laughs> Pick through the wreckage. Look at all those supplies. Look at all those guns. Oh, happy day! And our fleet is over cargo capacity. Who knew? Um, ship recovery. You're a monitor. Nah. Alright, so let's get rid of the metals, because that's what we always do here. Fleet screen, please. Who died? We are 300-ish crew short. 
So, Mothball Town. Ah, you, you're getting a demotion, McCall. I'm sorry. That was just too much. I love that the combat readiness for this has dropped so hard, though. So, I guess since we did all that and made a little more money, now we do need to actually like look for portals because everything's better with portals. They actually don't have a gate. So let's uh, let's look for let's go back to a place that has a gate. Last Astropolis. That is the place we can raid, although usually it's not very economical to do so. Um, they don't seem to have a gate. Why do I keep pushing the tab button? I need to be pressing Q. Um, Ascania. There's a there's a gate, and we can visit uh, our buddies in Umber again. There we go. Like yeah, so not everywhere has a gate, but like. Wonder if there's a way. I don't know. If there's a better way for me to find out where the gates are, maybe it's under the Intel screen. Gates. All right. We do have a gate. We do have a gate. That's excellent. I'm really glad we settled somewhere with a gate. All right, let's go here. Morgana. A place that we know very well. And um, apparently we have a Starliner civilian transport. So there's a bunch of garbage here after all. We are not going to recover you though. All right, so Morgana for the gates. We got a shit ton of repairs going on, but it's fine. We got a shit ton of money, and it's fine. We actually... Our income should be pretty much back to normal. We still have colonies that are growing like hell. Like, uh, Umu. Which is short some people, but probably actually... Oh, we can actually throw a third industry on here. So, um, goes to show what I've been paying attention to here. Tundra World. So we have farming mining we want farming we want mining probably light industry is good enough for you and then we're gonna put a planetary shield around you as well cuz everybody loves space hugs let's see Uma's good you should already have your third industry so that's great we do um, good fellow your next industry is upgrading your patrol HQ your growth is going down. You need hazard pay. Why did we not give you hazard pay before? It must have just been kind of busy with them um, blowing other people up. And how about you? You actually need some hazard pay as well, as dumb as that sounds. And Freeport for you, that's okay. Um, and we're going to upgrade you as well just because we have a little bit of money to do it technically I should be using this on things like recovering D mods but we'll get that money back and we're over cargo capacity but not for long so Morgana Morgana ludic path averted thank you Morgana has a low low beacon Let's look one more time, because I just must have missed it on the map before. Uh, Morgana Gates. Oh, it's surrounded by debris. Okay. Um, easy enough. So, hi guys. How you doing? This would be a great time for me to pick up a few more glimmers. We got another fleet down here. Okay, we can't we can't actually do that. Hegemony task force. Okay. Okay, so the hegemony needs to. Uh, what are you, what are you guys doing? Why are you scanning? All right. 
Citizen, the special naval operations zone. Stay clear. Be fired upon. Okay, what's this for? Hegemony naval operations are strictly confidential. So, I need you to move your fleet away from the gate. The hegemony commander's uh, facade cracks for a moment. He looks shocked that you would make such a demand. Your request is absolutely denied, he spits, citizen. So I'll say then, your operation will fail without my help. Excuse me, citizen. Your sense of commander's uh, fair reaching for the disconnect button. I know about the gate scans. He blinks. I cannot confirm or deny any speculation concerning the nature of this confidential operation. So let's see here. We're scanning the gates as well. You summarize the story of the gate research from Thomas Kalachor's failed Galati experiment onward. Leaving the inconvenient details about your own involvement, you speak of Tritac secret research, the High Hegemon's uh, tacit approval of the Gladi Academy resuming the project. The Maji Commander's face freezes as you speak and remains unnaturally still, you sense, through sheer effort of will. Interesting story, Captain. What is your point? So, I'm going to use a story point here. I technically shouldn't, but I'm up to seven now. And I, I have been using these for narrative things before. Your scan won't work. Mine will. I'll do the scan and give you my data. How nice. Teamwork! There's a very long pause. There exist provisions to integrate non-naval forces into hegemony operation on an ad hoc basis if conditions deem it absolutely necessary to achieve strategic goals. Another pause. High Hegemon uh, Dodd opened the armories of civilian fleets using the siege of this place. And more quietly, and then there's Riles Antics. The cap hegemony commander winks, then nails you with a stern look. Captain, I'm officially activating you as an auxiliary asset to the operation. <laughs> an, aux an auxiliary shirt, yes. Regular forces will withdraw to a safe distance. Then I am ordering you to perform your scan of this gate upon completion. You'll transmit the data to my flagship. He stands up a little straighter. My words understood. I'll carry them out immediately. Hooray! So... Uh, we improved uh, relationship with this, and the mission is go. Please proceed. It's nice that we didn't have to blow you out of the sky. I mean, we could, but we're going to leave. All right, so get out of here. Like, whatever you guys are doing, just don't. Scan the gate. All right, you scan the gate. Captain, the scan is complete. So what do we get here? Spi okay, the scan begins. Uh, spirals and ripples spill and surge in a non-Newtonian burst. Circle, sphere, focus, inverted tunnel, then you hear faint music. All right, after scan is completed, and we give the, uh, you order your comms officer to transmit a copy of the data to the nearby hegemony fleet using the operation provided. The only one good data set, it's not like they'll have a major leg up on gate research compared to the Gladi Academy or TriTech. Cool. So that was easy. I don't think we'll have to use all the story points, but um, I am going to do, I, do, I just kind of want to get back to civilization here real quick. And then I'm going to uh, stop this video because we need to kind of reassess where we're at a little bit. Uh, it looks like Mazalot has a gate. So let's go here. And it looks like somebody else is coming to get us right now. Or they certainly flew up there to try to make a good show of force. Like, I know a story zoomy zoom from a distance when I see one. So we're going to just peace out from that for now. The, there's, our, there's our other buddy fleet here. So look, we got, we got 500,000 and apparently we're just getting knocked around like a pinata. But yeah, this is a uh, this is kind of one of the last big things to do in uh, Star Sector, and uh, well, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, we're not gonna go to Elm. Whoa, you guys! There's apparently some uh, pirate activity going on here, and they are they're having a good time. So pirate attack fleet. Let's go to Yasad. I don't have I don't have time for this, guys. Like I really don't. Like there's a gate I got to scan. I actually went to completely the wrong world. Let's go to Ilm though. We can usually sell some stuff over at the independent places. But yeah, that's that's going to do it for this one. Let's just go ahead and do our auto repairs here. We've got we've got a lot of supplies. We got a lot of things we can do. They actually have excess stockpiles, so this is one of the worst places to possibly sell it. 
although we could always buy some more. But I'll kind of decide that for another day. So this is Asher with even more Star Sector. Our ships are doing good. It could be doing even better if I had some more crew and things like that. So auto repair. Let's at least uh, buy some good upstanding citizens to uh, get destroyed by an overly aggressive AI officer. That seems like a solid plan. But we'll do this again soon. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Modded Star Sector also in the pipeline as well, but I do kind of want to finish this arc first. And plus, I keep hearing whispers that there's another hot fix, but it's, it's you know, it's how it's going to be. I'm going to start a new series and then, oh, hot fix, here we go. All the mods are going to break, but you really want to use the updated code. But hey, we'll cross that bridge when we reach it. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again soon. You all take care.